I was reading my Bible this week and I was on Proverbs 3, verse 5. And it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. And when I was reading that, I'm like, what is our own understanding? And so what God downloaded to me is like our own understanding is, understanding is like baggage, like what we know to be true. Mm -hmm. And so I wrote, can our baggage affect our relationships with God? And like things like rejection or being like a fatherless child, for example. How do you treat God like a father if you don't have that example? How do you trust God if you have trust issues and don't really know what trust means? Uh, will you feel rejected by God if you have rejection issues? How do you truly not lean on your own understanding if that's all you know? And so God was downloading to me like sometimes we assume people know what they don't know. And sometimes like even when people are like, God is your father, you know, I'm like, but... Not everybody knows what that means. Mm -hmm. So how do you even have that relationship with God when you never had that relationship? Mm -hmm. Or how when people are like, you know, just trust in the Lord. Well, what does trust mean to you? Mm -hmm. Like, do I have trust issues? Mm -hmm. And is that how I treat? Because God was basically showing me that my own understanding is to treat him like I know to treat people. Like I treat him like a person. And so what God was telling me is like, don't treat me based on your understanding of human people. Like, yeah. you know, like if I have trust issues or abandonment issues, then I'll act like God abandoned me. Yeah. You know, like I'm like, God, you know, it's like what you revert to when you don't have something happen in your life that you pray for, mm -hmm. then you naturally think of what your logic is of what's yeah. happening. Yeah. So if you have rejection issues and God didn't do something for you, you'll start thinking like God is rejecting you. Yeah, he's punishing me. Right, like, and you start feeling that same rejection issue from God. Yeah. And I was learning that I was doing that with like trust, trust because I have a control issue, which I mean, I didn't really realize that until God broke it down for me. Like just because you're not the extreme control freak, because I'm like, I'm not controllers and I'm not like them. Yeah. And he's like, but you're still controlling. Yeah. You might not be the extreme version of control, mm. but you still have control issues, which mm. also results to trust. Mm. And so I didn't really know that that's why I was treating God like I can't trust him. Yeah. Because I have a trust issue. Right. Because I feel like I'm always let down. I had to do it myself. Mm -hmm. And so it was reverting to being single, taking care of yourself and y'all. You know, like all these different things that God was revealing to me was how I was treating God. Yeah. And do you guys have things in your life where you're thinking about it? Like where you could be possibly leaning on your own understanding where you kind of relays the same type of message for you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I, I definitely do. Um, I... I, I think that um like just in in like you were saying in our earthly like relationships you can really like the okay you 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 can't you can't pick the family that you're raising yeah. you can't pick you know a lot of things that happen to you and so a lot of times you'll revert to like almost this defense mechanism of well um I'm not going to let people hurt me, um, mm -hmm. so I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. And if you think that that won't translate into your relationship with God, like, without you actively making sure that you're dismantling that, that mentality in your life, then you're mistaken. Because I know for me, like, for the longest time, um, and it's something that I'm still working through because I, um, my, my dad great guy he really is he's a great guy but i i didn't have this super deep like loving intimate relationship with him and um for god to, for me to have that with god it was it was a struggle like yeah. i was like okay this almost is like making me uncomfortable so yeah. um you you seem like these intimate parts of me it's like you know you don't want to seem vulnerable it's like who else are you going to be vulnerable to if not god like right. what so he already knows. Yeah, he already knows. <laughs> and so it's just been like that's 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 something I'm definitely working through. Yeah, um, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. true though. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's everything you said, I relate to that as well because um my dad wasn't really in my life like that. He was inconsistent. Mm -hmm. And so it's just like um when I did start to have a relationship with my father, um, I didn't really have, I mean I was I was like maybe 15 when I really started to have a consistent relationship with my dad and it's kind of like God helped me see uh 
down the path when I got saved, like saved, saved. I got saved, saved. Save, save. At 23. Save, save. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I know 26 now, so I'm going three years in. Yeah. Oh, okay. snap. Yeah. Going strong. Oh, you know save, save. Save. <laughs> Might be less than that, you know. <laughs> No failing of us. I don't think I was still saying. People but. gonna be watching like, oh, you say you say Now you're trying to walk it back. I mean, because you know, when you're young in church, because I grew up in church, when you're young in church, you're like, go to yeah. the altar because your mama told you to. Yeah, you know, yeah. And when you, you confess your You're walking with God for exactly, yourself. Exactly, exactly. So I, I truly have a relationship with him now. Yeah. And God helped me see, like, you know, I'm not those people that hurt you. Like, I didn't do nothing to hurt you. Like, I've never hurt you. He's like, you don't trust them, but you need to learn to trust me mm-hmm. because I'm not going to ever hurt you. Yeah. And so it was just like, okay. And, and then you do try to go through it in your mind like, well, God didn't answer this prayer, so he must hate me. Like, he must not love me like he did before. Or, mm-hmm. you know, because we are comparing him to people because we mm-hmm. don't have really anything else to compare him to. So it's just like, you know, just trusting him yeah. and not treating him like my father. Yeah. You know, he's actually so much better than my mom and my dad. Um, no, no shade to them. Right. But he's just right. so much yeah. better than them because yeah. he shows me and teaches me things that they never taught me. That's true. You know, and things that that they were my mom was a great parent. My dad, I'm pretty sure he did the best he could. But, you know, at the end of the day, they all fall short because right. we all fall short yeah. of the glory of God. Yeah. And yeah. so where they fall, sh- where they fell short, God makes it up every time. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's just like a, it's like truly this life changing yeah. to like have God come into your life and like be your mom and your dad, yeah. like yeah. and everything else that you need. Like it's like yeah. wow. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like also you learn that you know everything in life. Once you go to counseling or anything, which I always recommend every single episode, um, it's your inner child comes out. Mm. like in everything you'll deal with yeah. so you don't even know how much that sappy inner child every time like you revert back to that like everything stems from your childhood and literally everything and so yeah. like when you have issues learning what those issues are and learning that that inner child comes out it's like God is also willing to meet you mm-hmm. he knows what happened to you yes, in your childhood yeah. and God is also going to try to correct that and show you that opposite because it's a lot of people been through stuff where it's not fair that they've been through it. Mm-hmm. And so you can understand what that type of baggage can do to your mentality. I mean, yeah. of course you're not going to trust anybody. Right. Yeah. Like, do you know what happened yeah. to it? Yeah. You know, like people have real life stories and right. most of us just sugarcoat the story we're telling. Yeah. And sometimes, like we were talking about, sometimes stuff has happened to you where you don't even remember it because you put yourself in mm-hmm. a bubble. So, like, sometimes somebody will say something to trigger you to remember that did happen to me. Like, that yeah. is why I like that. Because you try to protect yourself so you don't go down that road. And then right. something happens and you're like, dang, that happened to me when this. I was little. And it's like almost like you never deal with it. Mm-hmm. But it's also a cause for some of your responses. Exactly. And you're not even that aware of it right. yeah. until somebody helps break that down for you. Right. Yeah. So, I think that's important to, like... Know that that inner child, that annoying inner child, is always there. <laughs> always. And it is because it's like you know, you just like the same. You know, it's kind of like you're the same person you were since like second grade. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you're a better version, yeah, but it's yeah. like still you're that person. Yeah. Like if you had that issue, you're gonna have that issue. You might get better at getting past that issue, but it's still a core issue of yours that you had to deal with and get through. And so a lot of people aren't aware of how much that affects your whole life. Right. Yeah. Like, really no does. matter what you do to try to get out of it, it's like you have to really make an effort to work at it. You do. Exactly. Yeah. And that's hard, like, putting it that is. effort in. Yeah, and I, um, <laughs> that's so funny because, like, I I got to a place um, with, with both my parents. Like I said, both of my parents have actually been in my life my whole life. You know, like, they were married. Um, they got divorced and everything and I kind of like scoped my relationships not only just through them but with their relationships with people like their friendships and stuff and just seeing like you pick things up that you don't even realize you're picking up but um I got to a place where I was like you know what I want I want a good relationship with my parents like I want to to be able to talk to them and everything and um which was a, a hit to my pride because sometimes you're like no i want them to talk to me right, but it's like yeah. but it's like no like life is short yeah. you know like I, I want i want to be able to experience them in different ways while they're still here and um that's kind of where i got with god not that his life is short obviously but I'm, <laughs> like life is short in general and right. i was like 
you know what? Um, I want to fix my relationship with God to the best of my, like, I don't want anything to be, me to be holding back anything on my end because I desire more intimacy with mm-hmm. him. Yeah. So I'm not going to keep letting this baggage hold me back. Like mm-hmm. it's a, we, you, you get to a point where you're like, look, I'm done. grown. I, I've been through this around this mountain a million times and I'm ready to change it. And you're still so. talking about something that happened in fourth grade. <laughs> I mean, no, some people like really ride that wave all yeah. the way. I'm like, girl. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> like you talk about, you act like it happened yesterday here. Yeah, yeah 30 years went over it. So, like, can we work through this by yeah. this time? Like, do we have to keep talking about it every year? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's like that pain is real. Like don't, yeah, don't, yeah, the no. pain is definitely real, but it's like, okay, we gotta acknowledge it and we gotta move forward because exactly. you have to live. You have exactly. to live your life. You can't live stuck in this place with just like these are just my bags. It's like, no, you can unpack those bags. You need to unpack them. Yeah. yeah. You do not want to be a bag lady. Yeah. Uh, Alexa, <laughs> right. play bag lady. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> the baggage is real. Like yeah. I, it's so crazy because I never I never really thought about it until like, I mean, God brought it up to me in like my quiet time. So, but it's like, he brings things up to you that you don't think about, you know, especially when it comes to him and your relationship. And it's like, you know, I'm not just constantly reminding you, like, I'm not this person and I'm not that person. And I'm not like everybody that you think I am. I am not them. Like, you know, and so it's just like, okay, Lord, who are you? You know, Mm -hmm. like who, like, I want to know who you really are because I don't want to learn about who you are through my pastor. And I don't want to learn about you, about who you are through all of these different people in my life and their testimonies. Like, yeah, those are great, but I want my own testimony that Mm -hmm. I can say, you know, God has done this for me, you know, and I feel like your, that baggage can be a barrier between you and God getting closer and having more intimacy because you just can't trust God. You can't trust that when he say move or jump, I'm going to catch you. Mm-hmm. You know? you're comparing them to man. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And so it's just like, you know, having faith. You know, you got to have faith. You got to have faith. Like yeah. You have to have faith that God is going to, you know, finish the work that he started. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like, you don't just automatically start there either. God works with you. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, mm-hmm. he'll build up your faith. He'll show you that's what you need. Or mm-hmm. he will, he will show you. <laughs> and he will get you to that place where it's not like something you just start out with. And you're like, yes, I have faith today. Like, <laughs> you know, because people are like, how do you get there? And I'm like, God will get you there. Sometimes all you need is to want to get there. Exactly. Like once you just say that, God will meet you. Exactly. Like you can really have an authentic I talk to God like regular. Right. Yeah. And it's not premeditated. Like I wrote out the whole thing. I'm like, right. I don't like when I was talking to God, I'm like, I don't know how to surrender. I never like what you mean. Like exactly. when the cops are like, surrender. Come on. Come on. You know, <laughs> you know, like, or, or I try to trick God. I'm like, yeah. I trust you. <laughs> and he's like, girl, I know. Yeah, I know. Like, I'm like saying the words, but not really like me. No, I really, really do trust you. Like like, but do you? Trust you right? I'm like, you ain't got to take everything away from me to trust you. Like, I mean, yeah. I mean, I do, but I'm just saying, like, can yeah. you stop I'm this to. today? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. I get down to the basics when it comes to prayer. Because I'm like, Lord, I don't even know how to pray. Like, I need you to yeah. teach me how to pray. Like, what am I supposed to say right now? You yeah. know, like, I don't know how to parent. How do you parent? Like, I know I seen them do this and do that, but I don't know what I'm doing. And I need you to help me. You know, God, I like, I get super like basic with it. Like, yeah, you know, like, me. Lord, I don't know how to think. You I already need know you to make this cog go with that cog. Like, Lord, I'm going to lose my mind if you don't put two and two together. Like, I'm trying to figure this mm-hmm. out. Like, I talk know. to God just like I Google search. Exactly. I Google search. <laughs> I'm like, where do you get the ice cream from? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and they're like, like, how did you find it? I'm like, I literally I typed it. It. <laughs> what I felt. Like, I was like, do you need to have the red in the... Exactly. Like, but that is how basic my chat is with God. Exactly. It's not like all this... Because I feel like I get confused in, you know, the way... Especially if you're like a critical thinker and you think deep, you're like... Stuff can go right. And let, mm-hmm. Like, you know, I'm thinking about something totally different. If I don't keep it basic, <laughs> he's right. like, what are you talking about Disney World? Like, I'm like, I don't know. What I don't know. It, it, I don't know. It's too complicated. It's like, it's a, it's a, um, it's a muscle too. Like, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. it's yeah. like you, you go in the gym and initially you're going to be shaking. Like, I don't know if you've ever tried to do a plank before. Girl, I'd be like, having like, a straight seizure. I'm and like, it's like, but well, over time. <laughs> you're like, whoa, is she all right? That is how my plank right. is. I'm like. I'm like, oh my god, I feel like my body is seizure. I know the people next to me are like, mm-hmm. <laughs> right. but it is. It's like 
like it's a muscle. Like I think back to um you know, like different um, conversations that I started having with my parents, they were uncomfortable initially. But you know, like after a while, you work up that muscle, mm-hmm. and it's like you get better and better and better, and God keeps you in all of that. So, yeah, yeah, He does. Mm-hmm. Like definitely does. And you know, we all have baggage. It's part of everybody's life. Acknowledging that you have that baggage and trying to see where it's coming from is the most important part. And then getting into the Word and reading about. It. Think about it. Talk about it. And pray about it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that there is no baggage, Lord God, that we have, Lord God, that is too heavy for you to carry, Father God. Thank you, Lord God, that you know all of our issues, Lord God, and that you meet each of us, Lord God, where we are to help us work through those issues, Lord God, so that we can relate to you, Father God, and have those intimate relationships with you, Father God. And Lord, we thank you, Father God, that you are a God that can correct those behaviors, correct the patterns, Lord God, correct all those things, Lord God, that hinder us from fully getting to know you. We pray for all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.